Hello. It's Thursday evening and I've not made a video for tomorrow on Friday. So let's do a quick one. What's been going on? What's on my mind? Well, getting the house fixed up for us to be able to leave for a few months. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I painted the pool surround. Fresh coat of paint there. We got some new ferns. Look at the size of that one. And another big bushy plant over there. It's very uh, windy all day today. It's overcast and windy today on Lake Chipala. I hope you can hear the sound of the waves. We hear that all the time, day and night. Very soothing. The sky is gray. It's going to rain. I touched up the paint on the ceiling. I didn't think that it was going to be exciting enough for a video. I touched up the paint on the inside of this white door and again didn't seem very exciting for a video. Oh, pizza just came out of the oven. And plaster was falling down here. I fixed it and painted it. Wow. Riveting video, eh? I fixed some of the salitre down here. I'm going to do a video about salitre. The walls grow like they have cancer. Um, I'm going to do a video about that. Well, guess what we have today in my driveway. Hello. I don't think there's room for two of us. Let's go. <laughs> don't hurry. Oh, the horse is on Mexican time too. I, you can come back and eat the grass. Just let me go. <laughs> I'm going to write a book someday about living in Mexico and I have the title I'm going to call it Horses Don't Have Tail Lights So as I drove into the parking lot at Walmart today it occurred to me that there's some evidence right here in the parking lot to contradict all of those silly Americans who keep calling Mexico a third world country. These are Mexicans cars. They're not retirees cars. These are Mexican cars. Keep watching for the one that tells you that this is a third world country. You're not going to see it. Well, wait a minute. There's one down here that might be. Hang on. Here it comes. Here's the worst car in the parking lot by value. Right there. That van. That's my van. It's a 1974 Dodge van. In California, they say you are what you drive. I'm the poorest guy at Walmart today. Mexico is not a third world country. It's the 11th largest economy in the world. It's the sixth most visited by tourists. And they don't all lose their heads. Some of them don't get back home. But it's not because they lost their heads to a cartel. It's because they lost their hearts to a beautiful country. As we drive away from Walmart here, notice two things. First of all, the traffic here is terrible sometimes. 
This is stop and go on my side of the street. But keep watching the cars coming at us. These are Mexicans' cars, local Mexicans' cars. Mexico is not a third world country. Third world countries don't drive cars like this. I was watching a television show the other night on the ID channel. It's about, you know, crime stories and stuff. And it was this story about a guy who escaped from prison in uh, the United States and he went to Mexico to hide out. And all of the streets that they showed, it was in Saltillo. I've been to Saltillo and I didn't see any of those streets, but it's for the movies. It's a horrible, dirty, dirt road with buildings that haven't been painted for 30 years. There are places like that in Mexico, but they are not the typical places. Um, it just, everything I ever see on television, whether it's the news, or whether it's a movie, or whether it's a television show, it's always showing this dirty, downtrodden place. Let's do a little experiment for those of you who would like to learn something or those of you who'd like to participate. I'm going to put a link down here below to a video. It's about 15 minutes long and it shows all of the different places in Mexico. Watch the video, then come back and answer this question in my comments. Does Mexico look like a dangerous, violent, third world country or does it look like a modern place? Oh, this might be fun. The guy's making a left turn in front of the cop. Yeah, I guess it's just a friendly chat. <laughs> so, what do retirees do at Lakeside? Do we just go to Walmart or sit on the couch and talk to YouTube? No, sometimes we play cards. I can't show you any of these people's faces because one of them is famous and I would have to call his agent and pay for using his image. And another one claims that she's in the witness protection program. I don't believe it, but that's what she said. Anyway, they all declined to have their faces shown. We're at uh, Casa Linda again. What do you have? I have lasagna Marseille. Lasagna Marseille. Jeez. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. It's taking a terrible picture. Oh, well, that's because it's probably me. Oh, you've broken my camera. <laughs> no, I thought so. No, wait. It's, it's too dark. And what do you have? Mona Lisa salad. Mona Lisa salad. The camera's you're, suddenly gotten better, right? You want to say that in Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Claro. <laughs> Ensalada Mona Lisa. Perfecto. And what do you have? Quartillo. Um... Mona Lisa. No, 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 um, oriental. No, ori oriental something or other. I so, got, oriental. I got the same thing. Oriental, oriental plate. Combo? I don't remember what it was. And this was a gargonzola salad. <laughs> yeah. The okay. Remains, the remains thereof, right? That's what's left. Why don't you two get your heads together so I can get one picture. As you can hear in that last clip, Mexico is sometimes a very loud place. And that restaurant in particular was loud. Um, this is just a little preview of the next video I'm going to do. Lynn and I went to a babero, a nursery where they sell flowers. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.